What an incredible film. Absolutely flawless in literally every department. The cinematography is incredible. The writing is literally perfect. Um, the performances are incredible. Um, it's just, you know, we can't sing high enough praises for this film. Uh, sound design and score also like perfect. Um, I mean, we've got lots of questions. I don't want to take all the questions, so I'll ask a couple and then we'll ask our audience if they've got any as well. Hopefully they have. Um, so I guess I first want to ask you, you wrote this, uh, Paul. Um, I mean, how long a process was it to get to this? Because it's such a well-rounded script. I mean, the process after, so, so it was, we made that as a result of winning a competition called The Pitch that Luke is the, the one of the founders of. Um, I mean, the process to get to shooting stage was probably from winning the competition to shoot was, what, six months, let's say? Um, we shot in September and you won in January. That's so, nine. Yeah, so nine months, okay. Yeah, but we, but you, you'd got a script in six. Yeah, we definitely had a script in six. And I mean, the idea of probably a year before that, um, or at least the, the you know the uh, seeds of an idea, and then through the competition, obviously that that idea grew legs, and then through development with a wonderful script editor called Carol Griffiths, and then Jackie and Luke's input, the producers, you know, it's collaborative effort. Eventually, we got to to the shooting scripts and what you see on screen. Ah, uh, that's really interesting. So you won the competition off the back of a pitch, then I assume. Yes. Um, and then obviously it's not just about funding; it's about providing you with the right contacts, the right people that can help get it off the ground and make it what it is. Yeah, I mean, I, f I think it's people just believing in you and your idea, and then once that—I mean, that's the starting point, right? And then once you've got that, it becomes a roundtable discussion. It's a collaborative collaboration, a creative collaboration. Um, so yeah, I think you know the, the hardest part is convincing other people that your idea is strong enough to warrant throwing 40 grand at yeah. and once you've done that then yeah it becomes you know, like I say a, a big creative collaboration between lots and lots of wonderful people. And, and how, how involved were they in because I assume obviously off the back of the pitch to get it to script form I mean did you always have this script in your head or did, did it evolve with them did you did people within that competition help you evolve it to what it is? Oh definitely I mean the idea was there the characters were there the setting was there the themes were there the tune was there but what you don't have is the kind of marriage of all those things to make it number one shootable, number two engaging, mm. and number three kind of um, short enough, to, mm. you know, because there's, there's a lot going on under the surface of that film. So I think it's the collaboration comes in when you're trying to fill the, fill the, fill the subtext yeah. and trying to trust each other as to what you can leave unsaid and that an audience would still understand and all that kind of mm. thing, do you know what I mean? Mm. And, and that's the, the general kind of idea with script development is. You know, here's your idea, but let's file it down to a point where the strongest stuff is said and maybe the even stronger stuff is unsaid, you know. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I mean, the, there's such a balance of you've got so many layers to the film. So you've got obviously the, uh, the, the tortured individuals, the three tortured individuals and their own journeys. And then you've also got obviously the element of faith or lack of losing faith, having faith, that side, that side of things. Then you've got the, the social issues, you know, racism and uh, prejudice, etc. It's a lot to be juggling. <laughs> it's a lot to be juggling. But yeah, you, you nailed it. I mean, that was part of the thing. You've got to think like when you're pitching that, it sounds like a long film. And this, this, was, this was a short film fund. So I mean, part of the pitch was convincing. Which is our longest short film though. That is, yeah. That's also true. Mm. That's a huge undertaking. So you, you've obviously taken a leap of faith, like with with uh, just off the back of the pitch. So I'd love to have seen that meeting. Well, actually, yeah. I, th I mean, I think the thing Paul doesn't say is that he 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 pitched this. You pitch online um, in two minutes, and there's some written materials that goes with it. Wow. And Paul had a single shot that just tracks over a table with a voiceover that ends on the Laura character, which was actually Laura mm. did it for for, the, for your pitch. And I remember watching it first time. I went. Oh, that's completely nailed the story, but it's also told me he knows exactly what to do with a camera and how to craft a shot. So he's completely convinced of his, of his cinematic vision and the story all in one package. You're making him blush, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, is. of course. Yeah. <laughs> he does that. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't actually believe in it. I remember buying him a gin and tonic somewhere through the process, probably at the shortlist stage, and thinking, I think you're going to win. And looking at him and going, he doesn't think he's going to win. <laughs> no. no, I have no idea. No. It's well, still quite a clever way to pitch. Ever, but yeah, I mean, it was quite the process of the pitch. I mean, if, if, if there are any filmmakers who haven't heard of it, like get involved. It's it was it was just a really welcoming experience and a really empowering experience. I've been funded before, mm. but never had that kind of level of openness and warmth. 
mm. to me as a filmmaker and as a person. Like, forget the idea and, and, and for a second, but mm. just the kind of environment in which, oh, wow, you know, okay. and, you, and you get a better film out of it because you okay. feel so empowered to follow your ideas, mm. you know, to, to their full potential. It's, it's quite interesting because uh, when you win something like a pitch, there's a lot of people that have suddenly got a lot of control or input into your film. Obviously, we all know that when we write films, they're our babies, right? So yes. it's a bit of a leap of faith, no pun intended, to actually, you know, let them in, if you like, and, and let them sort of but join that, that comes gen- with the people that are trying to get in. That's the difference. So, mm. you know, you could, you could there, at no point was I pushed or pressured to stay on brand or anything like that. It was always my vision. It was always my story. It was always questions rather than demands. Mm. And those questions fuel creativity and they fuel... Um, th- this kind of sense that you can go anywhere and if you quite get it wrong, we'll, don't worry, we'll come back and we'll still be there. Mm. And whereas sometimes when you get funding, I suppose it's the legacy effect, right? Like sometimes you get funding, here's a bit of money, this is how we want you to do it. Uh, this, okay, here's some notes, quite impersonal sometimes, whereas this, it was a family, right? It was, yeah. it was a big family experience and, and, and the legacy effect that goes on from that, like that was what, a year, maybe two years ago, yeah. two years ago we shot that. I'm working with Luke again. I'm still really good friends with the other producer, and and it's it's this legacy effect where you're yeah. not just here's an opportunity now start off. It's here's an opportunity. <laughs> where does the next one come from? You know. Yeah, that's perfect because you're not just winning the competition. You're winning like lifelong uh, working relationships, which is brilliant. I just um, you touched upon uh, your pitch. You had Laura based and already uh, in mind. I take that so. You, 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 did you? Was it just Laura you had at that point, or did you have other cast members in no. mind? Um, I mean, I've worked with Laura a few times, and she's incredible, as you can see. Um, every time I watch it, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, wow, she's good. Yeah. Like, every time I watch it, I, I'm, ne- I'm still You're not You're forgetting to say yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so she, like Luke said, she, she, record, she helped me make my pitch video, so she was the actress in the pitch video. Um, and then when we got to production, you know, it's, as with all the producer's job is to say, are you sure here are some other options or what about we do this or what about we do that? But I think Laura was the only thing I was really kind of staunch on is that no, if we're making it, it has to be with Laura. Yeah, no, I mean, and I, I think totally I get right. that because she was absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah. She's uh, nominated for Best Actor. Yeah, she, 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 she's like one of few. Nominated. She's yeah, on the back surprised. of this film and, and she has no self-belief either, right? Like she, no, right she's exactly. very much a... Wow. Shrinking by that, and, then, <laughs> and yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't recognise if you walked in the room now either. She lost a huge amount of weight. I was going to ask that. I was going to ask that because yeah. I've obviously, I'm, you know, we yeah. follow each other on Instagram and Twitter, yeah. and she doesn't look anything like no, that. No, she doesn't. She, she <laughs> so that's looked, like proper yeah, method acting. Right? She looked really hollow. For yeah, it. yeah, totally. yeah. I like what you did there. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> right on brand. But that's what she wanted. She, so she, so Laura is a very physical actress. Mm. She's a very emotional actress as well, but she needs some form of physicality to connect those emotions, mm. emotions to. So she decided that the only way she can replicate that feeling of loss is to be absolutely starving. And that's the thing she's missing oh, is food. And then she'll be able to relate that feeling and put that into a performance. So she's actually not sad, she's just really hungry. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but, but she needed that, like, she needed that feeling yeah. in her stomach to use, if she that makes sense. Squashed, she hadn't squashed the spider, it was just a sandwich on the floor, wasn't <laughs> yeah, it? That's right, why she was yeah. crying, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that physical feeling in her stomach, she needed to attach to an emotion, yeah, and that's how she gets where she needs to get to. That is insane. Yeah, rather that's, than just pretend to be sad, she needs to feel something, you know. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.